Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's going to be some last minute gift ideas. If you're a procrastinator like me, then this is definitely going to be the video for you. If you're shopping for your mom and you need some ideas, if you just want to send some hints to your husband or your kids, I know my husband is definitely not someone that is a great gift giver and knowing what to get, so he prefers me just to kind of send him some helpful, hintful ideas so he can definitely get me something that I want or that I need. I'm going to be sending him this video as soon as it's up so he can have some ideas. I'm going to be having different categories, so I'll have something for like the beauty lover, for the naturalist, for the sentimental mom. This way there will be something for all of you. So let's dive right into this Mother's Day last minute gift ideas. looking down my phone because I wrote the list here this way I don't forget what I'm going to be talking about <laughs> because mom life consists of lots and lots of lists this way we can get everything done so this first one is going to be something that you could even do as late as the morning of Mother's Day if you're a true true procrastinator all you're gonna have to do is head over to like Kohl's or Home Goods and pick up your favorite picture frame and print out a photograph of you and your mom or you, your mom, and your kids that you want to place in a frame for her. This is definitely going to be for the sentimental mom that loves to have memories. You don't have to spend a lot of money on this. My suggestion to you guys is actually first selecting the photo that you would like to place in the frame. So if it has a special meaning to you guys or it was a really incredible memory that you want to document and make sure she can showcase in her home, then you're definitely going to want to have the idea first, print the photo out, and then you're going to be taking it to whichever store you decide to shop in so you can have an idea let's say it was a really beautiful photo that you took at the beach with your mom then bringing up like the hues of like the blues of the water in it you may want to pick up like a nice sand colored a nice sand colored picture frame something that definitely accentuates the photo or if you want to go for something that goes more with her home decor so in my living room I have like the whole gray and white color scheme so picking up either of those two colors would definitely coordinate well in my living room if you want them to display it in a particular room in their house so you can definitely go along that line. I'll insert a little picture here for you guys to see the one that I did for my mom. I had a picture that I absolutely loved of my mom, Mila, and I, and it just says, as you can see, three generations, a legacy of love. So because it's a picture of the three of us, I thought it went absolutely perfectly. It's this nice rustic type of color, so it matches with anything in her house, so she could put it absolutely anywhere. I just thought not only is the picture really sentimental, but I thought the little saying on the frame went absolutely perfectly as well. So gift idea number two is going to be for the beauty lover in your life. Whether you're buying something for your mom or your sister who's a mom, we all know that we love getting glam. So this next one is gonna be from Sigma Beauty. If you guys are purchasing either makeup or brushes, they were really well known and it became widely popular a few years ago because their makeup brushes were known to be very similar, if not better quality in my opinion, than MAC Cosmetics, but for like half the price. So my makeup that I do every single day, whether it be special occasion or just everyday makeup, those are the only brushes I use. I wanted to show you guys some ideas if you wanted to do, let's say, like a little basket or something, because this is what I actually will be doing for my mom. <laughs> They do offer expedited shipping, so if you order in time, you definitely can receive it for Mother's Day. So what I'm gonna do, I just had a little grant, a little Ray Dunn um, coffee mug that says Grandma on it, and I'm gonna wrap it in cellophane, and I'm going to be including this eyeshadow palette. It, mine is very well loved. Of course, she'll be getting a brand new one, but this is the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. This one can literally be worn on an everyday basis. You can do so many looks with it because it has a variety of different shades, as you can see here. It's perfect for travel. It does have a mirror if you're someone that has to like do your makeup on the go when you're like on the train headed to work or in your car waiting for your kids to come out of school, anything like that. This is perfect for you. So like I said, it has all neutral shades even darker shades, so if you wanna jazz it up for like a night out, you definitely can. And then I'm going to be gave, giving her my all-time favorite, favorite blush from Sigma, and it's the Cor de Rosa, it's their Aura, it's their Aura Powder Face Powder, they call it, but really it's just it's a very large blush. And as you can see what it looks like there, I do have it worn on my face if you just wanna see what it looks like on the skin, because like I said, I literally wear this every day. I want to say that I've been wearing this blush for about four to five months already and as you can see it isn't even close to being done because it's such a large blush. I have about like 20 other blushes but ever since I bought this I literally don't wear anything else anymore. It is matte so it looks very natural on the skin and I just feel like it goes with so many different skin tones 
so it'll work perfectly for any of your moms out there. And the final thing that I'm including in her little gift basket is going to be, of course, a Sigma brush, because like I said, I love them and they're such good quality. And this one is the Sigma F, and this one is the Sigma F40, which is considered their large contour, but I use it as a blush brush. It's very well loved, as you can see there. I do have to get to washing my brushes this week, but at least you know I definitely use it. And the reason I like to use this for a blush brush, because it is nice and small to the point where it goes right on top of the cheekbone of my face. So sometimes when you're using too large of a blush brush, you kind of get all over and it defeats the purpose of accentuating your features. So this one works perfectly. I just kind of put it right on the apples of my cheeks and I just swipe it back towards the cheekbone. And like I said, in combination with the blush brush, so she'll have her blush as well as the brush and then an everyday eyeshadow palette that she can take on the go and use every day. So I just felt like it was absolutely perfect. I know my mom's gonna love it. If your moms love anything beauty, they'll definitely love it. And I do have a coupon code for you guys. I believe it's either 10 or 15% off. I can't exactly remember right now, but I will have it down in the description bar below for those of you that are interested. Buzz. Did I just delete something? Okay, so. I just deleted my entire note section on my phone while I was talking to you guys. So let's hope this mommy brain kicks back into gear and I can remember what the next gift idea was. So let's see. So gift idea number three is going to be for like the naturalist, the diffuser lover in your life, and it's going to be the set of oils. So I've been putting essential oils inside a diffuser for a few months now, and I will say that they definitely add tons and tons of benefits. Not only can they make your house smell clean naturally, but they also have different benefits depending on the type of drops that you purchase. So the kit that I absolutely love, especially if someone's new to using essential oils, I would highly, highly suggest this kit if you're purchasing, let's say, a diffuser for them, or they just purchased their own diffuser and you wanna buy some oils for them to add. This one is the best blends and is the healing solutions. I purchased mine on Amazon, but no, if you purchase anything on Amazon and you have Prime, it will arrive to you in two days, so definitely in time for Mother's Day. And this one, the reason I love it is because the variety that comes in, it comes with the Good Sleep Blend, Deep Muscle Relief, Stress Relief, Health Shield, Breathe Blend, and Head Relief Blend. This works perfectly because anyone in your house can kind of use it if you have like a sickness going around. I really love using the Health Shield. This way no one else in the house gets sick. Like last week, Mike was battling a cold. I didn't want me and Mila to get it, so I just kind of popped this in the diffuser, a couple of drops, and we luckily didn't get sick at all. I'll just bring it a little closer so you guys can kind of see. So this, like I mentioned, comes with six different oils inside of it. So it's a perfect little starter kit for someone that's just getting into oils or if they just love diffusing and oils and they don't have this particular kit. Like I said, I highly recommend it and I'll have it linked down below for those you're interested in picking up for yourself or for the mama in your life. For gift idea number four, it's going to be for basically, I want to say any woman in your life because we all have to tackle the dreadful task of cleaning and no matter how much we may love it or not love it, it has to get done, right? So the gift idea that I thought that I would personally love to receive, if your mother is not yet a Grove member, I figured you could kind of print something out saying telling her that you either signed her up and you're going to be paying for the first month or two or if you want to go really bold and pay for the whole year you definitely can do that it's not going to be so crazy expensive so you don't have to get too nervous because in Grove what I love about them is you can skip months so you're not of course obligated to get something every single month I have an offer going on right now where if you purchase the $20 worth signing her up to be a new member, then she's gonna get a free Mrs. Myers hand lotion, dish soap, hand soap, and a dish brush that she can use along with whatever you purchase for her. And what I love best about doing something like that is different people have different scents that they like. Like I tend to love like soft floral scents. My mom likes to like something more, let's say like lemon flavored. So because you and your mom don't have exact taste, I wouldn't suggest just going and like signing her up and purchasing it already to have delivered. I would kind of just get a Mother's Day card in it, print out that you signed her up for the year and tell her to pick a day where she's just kind of gonna come over your house. You can set up a nice little lunch for her and you can go on the computer and you can help her show her some of your favorites. She can explain to you what type of scent she loves, things she needs, doesn't need. 
it's a great bonding time. It's, a, it's something you guys get to do together. And like I said, everyone kind of needs cleaning products. And knowing that your mom doesn't have to worry about lifting another heavy bag into the house when she goes to the store is a definite convenience and puts ease on your mind knowing that your mom is getting all of her cleaning things delivered to her house, stress-free, and it's things that she can love and that you know are healthy and safe for her to use around her home. This now completes my last minute Mother's Day gift ideas. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll have everything I talked about down in the description bar if you guys want to head back there for reference. Like I said, anything that I mentioned here today, you can definitely do on from today and the next day or two to get on your last minute gift idea. If you're gonna be ordering something from like an online site that I mentioned, then just kind of make sure you select the expedited shipping so you can be sure that you receive it just in time for Mother's Day. This now completes my Mother's Day gift ideas that are totally last minute for 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, then hit that little red button down below. It's free and I would appreciate it so much. And I'll talk to you all in my next one. Bye.